Okay, in this short video, we're going to build on what we started in part one of the scratch um, activity. And what we're going to do here is we're going to start to make a, a title screen for our first game by painting a new backdrop. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go down here to the stage menu and hover over the, uh, the little plus icon at the bottom. And we want to select the paintbrush, okay? And when you click on the paintbrush, this is what you should see on your workspace. Okay, so in this first backdrop, where it says backdrop one, you're going to want to change the name of that backdrop. And all you need to do uh, is change where it says backdrop one. Simply click in that box, and we're going to change that to say title screen title screen just like that now what we want to do is grab uh, the text tool in this little toolbar here and we want to bring it over here to the workspace and we simply want to type the words my first game so that it's positioned somewhere close to the middle of your screen. You can move this around if you want to, just like so. Okay, we also want to add another line of text somewhere else on your screen that says, press the space key to start. Okay, now I'm going to Move that around so it's somewhat centered on my screen. Just like that. Okay, now that our first backdrop is, is finished, what we want to do is we want to make our second one. And the second one is done by simply clicking on the backdrop number two. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the name of this one from backdrop two to say level one. Okay, so now that that says level one, what we want to do is we want to create a rectangle by using the rectangle tool, and we want to make this rectangle that is a solid color with no outline color. So if I make a rectangle in the middle of my screen here, what you want to make sure you do is leave enough room above and below this rectangle so that your cat can squeeze through the top and the bottom of it, okay? Okay, also, if you want to change the color of this rectangle, I believe you could just... Um, so if you want to change the color, you just click on this fill right here, and then you can choose a different color or a different hue, and then you can select it like that, okay? I think I'm going to go with something a little more on the green side. So I'll go like that. Okay, now we can actually write code so that our backdrops will show up at the right time. And in order to do that, we want to go over here and click on the Code tab. Okay. And make sure that your stage menu is active. And if it's highlighted in blue, that usually means it is. And if it's not, simply click on that, and then you can... Okay, now that your stage is, in fact, selected, since it's blue here, and also I'm going to click on the Code tab. Okay, so the Code uh, tab needs to be selected. And the next thing you want to do is you want to bring out when the green flag is clicked again. So that would be an event. When the green flag is clicked, then you're going to want to go to Looks. And you want to switch the backdrop to, and you want to select the drop-down arrow here so that it says title screen. So that's what your code should look like. And I'll make that larger so that we can see it bigger. One small thing to note here, if you don't see title screen as one of your choices here, that means that when you made the backdrop, you never named it title screen. So the way to fix that would be to go back to backdrops 
and change the name to title screen. Okay. Okay, so at this time we need our program to look for another event where we typed in uh, the space key to be pressed. So what we need is to go over to the events tab and we need to bring out when key is pressed. And in this case, it's the space key. So it already says space key. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go over to the the uh, looks tab so that we can select the block called switch background uh, switch backdrop 2 and we want to bring that out and we want to drop this arrow down and switch this over to level 1 so it should say when the space key is pressed switch the backdrop to level 1 and that's what it should look like Okay, the next thing we want to do is to create a broadcast. And a broadcast block is a useful block that you can use to create to send out a custom command that will act as an event. So in this case, we will make a new message called start game. And that we will use a trigger to set off the events our, when our game starts in future codes that we write. So where you get that is you go to in order to get the broadcast block out, we need to go to events and bring out the broadcast block, which is right here. And what we want to do is we want to create a new message. And this new message is going to say, start game. So type that in this box and select OK. And this is what you should see at this point. That's it for this section. In the next section, we will code our cat's animation.